good afternoon how everyone how are you last week i have uploaded a video of uh, whm so one of my friend requested to create a video for plesk so here i am to create a new video on plesk today i am going to show you how to uh, set up plesk on your aws and uh, run it your application websites over there so uh, let's start the process uh, i am in my uh, management console in aws so i go to ec2 area for creating that instance I create a new instance here. I go to marketplace and search for Plesk. And then if I uh, I want to use CentOS 7, so let's select CentOS 7. And uh, then I uh, this is the price that uh, you are going to pay. Uh, it's mostly the hourly payments of your ECG instances. Plex uh, comes with a free trial and that ends on 5.29, so 10 days time we have. I choose EC2 instance T2 micro for free tier and let's continue. I keep everything as it is and then add storage 10 gigs. I should be setting up 20 gigs. Next add tax, I'm not going to add any tax. This comes with predefined security groups from the Plesk, so you can customize if you want. I will just leave it as it is, and then I review everything. It gives in a warning because couple of ports are uh, widely open for everyone outside the world, which gives you this warning. But uh, you can customize this based on your own requirement, like setting up your own uh, IP address to access only this kind of security policies which is matching for your uh, company policy so let's go to next and uh, create launch I acknowledge that and that will launch ok launch instances usually plex takes some time uh, let's say 3 to 4 minutes because it's updating its patches from the production server so um, Let's be uh, patient with that, and then okay. While it's loading, uh, I give you some brief about Plex. Plex is a very popular server management software. It used to manage multiple accounts in a shared server, where you have uh, different websites in the same server, multiple domains. Plex has built-in Docker and uh, one-click WordPress installations, Git, these kind of lot of uh, features for auto deployment. So uh, you can use Plesk for managing your small applications, websites, or other e-commerce applications, etc. This is very easy and uh, it's quite popular around the world. I've been using Plex for a lot of times. Uh, a lot of my customers also use Plesk. So um, it's wait while it is uh, downloading its patches and completes the process. It takes some time. So I can pause the video and uh, okay, I am back. So let's try to connect to that uh, instance. Uh, and copy the IP address and then Okay, it's uh, <coughs> it's showing that the server is powered by Plex. That means Plex installation has finished. So okay. let's try to connect, uh, get a temporary login URL. So there is a command given here, which if I run in my 
ssh shell command shell then it will give you a temporary url to connect to that uh, server and set up the root credentials okay here is the url so let's copy the link and open the browser okay as you can see i am now uh, in a plex admin uh, area where I see the setup of uh, admin credentials I give the contact name admin and email address um, then I generate a password and use this copy this password for later use I have uh, confirmed under plesk it is initializing and everything for me so let's wait for this it usually takes one or two minutes and uh, it should be done easily so uh, this is the plex uh, main uh, control panel and after logging to the main control panel i can now um, create new customers accounts everything okay here's my plex control panel and i am able to log in here properly so let's uh, try if i can create a new customer with a domain so add a customer give a name username password and I set a domain and then um, let's skip this tool unchecked okay here uh, my account is created and now I'm going to log in as a customer and see awesome so uh, as you can see we have now set up plus on our AWS environment and we can create we are able to create customers and we have uh, logged in as a customer and see over there we can create database we can install wordpress over there and a lot of other things can be done so uh, i hope this will help you to install plesk on aws and you can you need to buy the license for plesk outside of aws because aws does provide the plesk license but there are a lot of providers i i can give you a link in the description who sells plesk licenses so thank you for watching this video i hope you like this video if you do please subscribe to my channel and uh, see my other videos as well thank you have a nice day bye